This is Fun Robotics Network. We're here with Team 9864 Jug Rocks Robotics from Shoals, Indiana. They're coming straight off of their Indiana State Championship Winning Alliance first run. Um, after the break, they're gonna talk a little bit about their very interesting L3 climb, their very consistent intake, and um, everything. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Judica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels now available in several different color options to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allow for positioning at multiple angles. Teams in the U.S., you can request a free sample, apply for team grants, and register for 25% off at studica.com slash robots. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs in their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. So obviously right off the bat, one of the more unique aspects of our robot is its navigation. Um, we use distance sensors for air correction and we also use the IMU to um, make sure we're going in a straight line. And something interesting about our um, movement during teleop is that we use field oriented driving, which means no matter where the robot is facing, um, pressing forward on the joystick will make it move forward or left, left, right, right. And um, especially for newer drivers, it makes it a lot more easy to learn. Um, another um, kind of unique and complex aspect is the collector. Okay, so our collector has many different aspects. Um, these wheels, which have two configurations actually. This configuration is for basket. Um, we have these kickers that go on the front of our wheels and um, we use them for clips because they can kind of grip on better. Um, but for basket, we want it to be a bit more loose um, and it, will, it would also like kind of kick it out. So we take them off for basket. Um, it has a color sensor, which whenever we're driving, um, it will automatically, like, if it sees that there's a sample collected, it will move the arm to the home position, so you can just drive off and, like, immediately go. And another thing is we have a feed gate, so um, pretend this is a sample. It can go in backwards, but not go in that way. Uh, so my name is Jason. I'll be talking about our lift, and this is our lift right here. And during end game. We use this lift to perform a level three ascent by, can you lift up the lift? So when we first go on, we latch this onto the bar that raises up our robot. And then for our level two ascent, we bring our arm out and we use this right here to hook it on the second bar. And that kind of holds our robot there for these right here to come up and bring our robot up that we can uh, perform the level three ascent and hang there. And I'm also gonna talk about the worm gears that we use. We use two different worm gears that way. So the worm gears are really good because that way we can hang our robot without putting any stress on the battery or the robot or the arm itself. And like we can maintain the hang. So the worm gears are really beneficial to this robot and for the hang. And here you go. So one of the cooler things that I noticed is that you guys use a lot of sensors. You mentioned the distance sensor. Could you talk about how you use these um, like push and uh, touch sensors and stuff? So, our... so the sensors on the front are called push button sensors. They are used in our lift system to help us verify when phase one is done, which is telling us that we are securely hooked onto the first row. The distance sensors, as I said, they're used um, during autonomous because what would happen a lot is our robot would overshoot or not go in a straight line. And so um, it would mess us up, especially when we were trying to carefully pick up the specimens. So at first we tried to use April tags, it was too slow. So we moved on to distance sensors, which have worked really well. That's really cool. Do you think you could talk about uh, how you guys set up the mechanism for moving this entire arm up and down? So with this arm, we have a gear right here. So we have, huh? Oh, we have two gears right here. And that allows, and we have it connected to this metal piece right here. And we have no gears right here, so it can move freely. And basically that, we just attach this arm 
to this metal base and it just turned and we also use the belts for the actual arm part portion but to move the base that's how we move it up and down to put it in the basket or in the intake and to raise our arm we use these bands and basically these bands when it goes up they keep cycling from this and it raises it and it keeps tension on it that way it can't fall back and um, it can also go forward. Thank you, that's all really cool. Anything? So this has been 9864 Jug Rocks Robotics. Um, you guys are gonna be at Worlds here in Houston coming up. Thank you for showcasing our ro your robots. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Kettering University's cutting edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, future-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Zutica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels now available in several different color options to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allow for positioning at multiple angles. Teams in the U.S., you can request a free sample, apply for team grants, and register for 25% off at studica.com slash robots.